Dear students, dear friends, we are gathered here today in memory of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, the founding Prime Minister of Singapore. May I request all to rise and standing together, observe one minute of silence in memory and in honour of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Mr. Lee had a vision that with education, the population would be the nation's most important asset. Working towards that vision, Mr. Lee, in the 1950s and 1960s, focused on building an efficient universal education system that would provide a skilled workforce for Singapore's industrialization program, as well as to lower unemployment. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew put forward his vision of Singapore as a garden city way back in 1968. He emphasized the need to integrate the environment with urban development to soften the effects of a concrete jungle. He had a great foresight about the need to be environmentally responsible even before going green and sustainability became buzzwords and a popular thing to do. If it was not for his dream to build Singapore into a first world country, we would not have a roof over our heads and fresh water to drink from the tap. If it was not for his vision to see Singapore as a hub for education, we probably would not have NTU and her renowned education system. I've spent two days 15 hours writing his name and uh, so, sort of painting this picture. For these two days that I've spent, this man spent entire life you know, building upon this nation. So it was fantastic that students engaged in this. I, th I think it's amazing painting, very creative and very good. We came up with this idea today because of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, and why we want to do this is because of the legacy and everything. Black Ribbon actually represents remembrance, and everywhere in social media they are using this Black Ribbon as a symbol of uh, memory for Lee Kuan Yew's legacy. That is why we came out of this uh, Black Ribbon uh, initiative. That was, I think, one small thing, but very symbolic thing. If he didn't take Singapore in its infancy 50 years ago, I wouldn't have what I have now. And for that, I think I thank him and I respect him. And regardless of what difficult decisions he made, I think it was for the good of Singapore. expect that there's some magic formula that the minister has got a black box out of which he'll keep on pulling out goodies for you, then you deserve to perish.